Are you wondering whether or not you should update to the latest driver? If so, you've clicked on the right video. Because in today's video, I'm going to be comparing the previous driver versus the driver that released last night. So sit down, strap in, let's go. Right, before we get started, please head on over to my YouTube page. Guys, if you subscribe to the channel, please just make sure that you got that little notification bell selected so that when I release a new video, you're notified instantly. It really helps me with the algorithm and I am looking to grow my channel, so it really would help. If you're not subscribed and by the end of this video, uh, you want to consider doing so, fantastic. So guys, um, getting to my results, before I even get to that, I just want to go to the uh, uh, Game Ready Driver Forum and just go over some issues. So I see less issues than I did in the previous driver. However, somebody did say that they were experiencing, okay, bear in mind, they're using a 4070 Ti. I see that most of the problems are actually with people on RTX cards. Um, they did suffer 40 FPS loss in Modern Warfare 2. But when I, look, when I watch the benchmarking or the video, the split screen comparisons that people have been putting out on, um, on YouTube, I didn't really see much of a performance loss in Modern Warfare 2 or online multiplayer games that much at all. So I'll put this link in the description of the video, but most of the issues experienced are actually on RTX cards. But getting to my results. So all my games are tested at medium settings. Where if it's 2.0 or 2.1 was available, I used a quality setting. Guys, with the exception of The Last of Us, The Last of Us, because of performance is just getting worse and worse than that game, I tested it low with the FSR set to quality. Returnal, I tested it low with FSR set to balance. And Resident Evil 4 Remake, because I play the game quite often, I'm addicted, I can't help it. Um, I use a mixture of high, uh, of high medium and low settings. Um, and because they, the settings are complicated, I just leave them as is and I do my benchmarks with those settings. Everything else is medium with the FSR set to quality. Um, I, I literally don't have any space on my computer, so I don't have space to install new games. So all my games are single player games, offline. Um, I don't like playing online multiplayer games, so you'll notice I don't have any of those in my benchmarks. That being said, I have made my benchmarks bigger, or in, uh, like made the, the benchmark pool bigger, so that my results can be as accurate as possible. And then lastly, I test on a GTX 1650 laptop. I don't have an RTX laptop. I don't test on an RTX platform, so your results may vary if you're on an RTX card. But let's get to it. So guys, for the previous driver, 536.23, it wasn't a shocking driver, but it wasn't definitely wasn't the best performing driver. My recommendation at the end, or oh, when I did this for the previous driver, was actually if you play offline single player games to be on 535.98, because they had really good raw performance. And if you played online games, I recommended it to be on an older driver, 528.02, because it has good latency and also it has very good raw performance. So I didn't recommend this driver last time because there was a little bit of a step down in terms of performance. So when I added up all the average FPS's, over 12 games my total FPS was 855, divided by 12 and my average FPS per game was 71.25. And then I did the same thing for the 1% lows, I added up all the 1% lows, over 12 games, my total 1% lows were 657. Divided by 12, and my average 1% low per game was 54.75. As you can see, not a terrible driver by any means, but not the best. So when, when I divide the 1% lows by the average FPS, my stability over 12 games for the previous driver, 536.23, was 76.84%. Not the worst, but not the best. Then for the latest driver, I must say, without recording, it's actually turned out to be a pretty good driver. I don't know in terms of latency though, because obviously I can't test for that. But from what I've seen on, G uh, on GTX platforms, there isn't much of a latency issue that I've seen from other people testing their online games. Um, 
So when I add up all the average FPSs, over 12 games, my average F or my average FPS total was 858. So you can see it's three FPS higher, so it's not much of a difference there. And when I divide that by, by 12, my average FPS per game was 71.5. Then I do the same thing for the 1% lows, add up all the 1% lows, and then over 12 games, my 1% low total was 667. So you can see that's actually 10 FPS higher than the previous driver over 12 games. So my average FPS or average 1% low per game was 55.58. So about one FPS higher in terms of average 1% low per game. So when I divide the 1% lows, by the average FPS, the stability for the latest driver 536.40 is 77.73%, which is pretty much as good as it's been on any driver for me. Um, I reckon in terms of raw performance, 536.40 is on the same par as 535.98 for single player. And uh, yeah, it matches the performance of 528.02. However, I don't have it. I don't have an indication of latency, so I'm gonna have to check up on that. But guys, if you want my if you want my opinion, if you play single player games, update to 536.40. It's got really good raw performance. But yet again, I'm not certain. I think 528.02 is still your baby if you play online multiplayer games because it's got really good performance and the one percent lows are very good. And the latency is good. So guys, just one more time. Update to the latest dri uh, driver if you play um, single player games. If you play on online multiplayer games, this driver still has a DPS latency issue. It has not been resolved. So stay on 528.02 if you play online multiplayer games. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button. If you have any questions, Hit me up in the comment section. Guys, if you're still watching and you haven't subscribed as of yet, now's the time to do so. Have a fantastic day. It's the weekend. It's people like you. Cheers.